What do you think you'll discover? You are going on a school visit to the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Crystal Bridges has over 300 years of American art. What are some of the things you will see? I didn't know what to expect the first time. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Whenever we walked in the doors, I thought that this would be like better than the first time. The art, the sculptures, and meeting new people, and everything, more history. All the different kinds of paintings you have. You don't just have one sort of painting all the way through, and how you can start in colonial times and go all the way through till modern today art. I learned that all paintings have a certain meaning and it's much funner to look at them with many people. I really just thought that somebody just painted her and like they just didn't they just didn't really have a meaning but now I now I know. All the different paintings that we saw, um, they were all different from each other. It was amazing. The building looks like artwork itself. The most fun I thing I did was look at the black boxes. You're looking at kind of like a house, but like it was all black, and you're looking at household items that were glued onto boxes. It, was, it surprised me because it was more fun than I thought. The building is over 200,000 square feet. It was designed by the architect Moshe Softy and is nestled in a ravine that the Crystal Spring runs through. This is where the inspiration for the name Crystal Bridges comes from. There are two structures that also act as bridges. Once you arrive, you will go down an elevator, through a courtyard, and enter into the lobby. Before you go into the galleries, there are a few things you should know. Definitely tell them not to touch. You can enjoy the artwork, just don't get too close to it. Be careful with the things that are around you. Don't run the hallways. No food and drinks. Don't yell. You can't really touch it because it'll be all ruined and gross. No right. flash photography. You can have cameras just without the flash. You gotta talk and have fun. The most important rule though is you must be ready to share your ideas. Why is it so important? If I didn't talk, I, I would barely get anything from this experience. Don't be shy and like you can talk and they want you to talk. They pointed out some stuff that I never would have thought of. It was a lot more entertaining and it just made people listen more. People want to know like how, what you think of the painting, like what you see. You could talk about it so like you could inspire them and tell them more detail about what the painting is about. Also you could understand the art rather than just having, seeing it and then they telling you about it. Then you could like connect to it if you can talk about it. Now that you know the rules, you are ready to go into the galleries. In small groups, you will explore the works of art with a museum educator. You will talk and have some great activities as part of your tour. It takes a lot of people to be sure the museum runs smoothly. Curators are the experts about the art. Educators create programs and materials for people visiting, including you. Security helps protect the art. Your school visit, including school bus and lunch, is completely covered from the generous endowment provided by the Willard and Pat Walker Foundation. Now that you have learned a bit more about what you will see and how an art museum works, you are ready for your visit. After your visit with your school, be sure to bring back your family and friends to share your expertise at no cost. Crystal Bridges is my museum!